Are you afraid? No. I think only people who have regrets are afraid of dying. And I don't have any. I got pretty much everything I ever wanted. I got a nice house and I got good friends. And Cora. Then why do you want to leave these things? Joey, Cora told me about the trailer. I've tried hiding this from her. It's getting to the point where I can't anymore. And it's only going to get worse. And she says it doesn't bother her, but I, I see. I see it breaks her in two to see me like this day in and day out. I've got to fix a few of the cattle guards. Ice and snow did a number on them this winter. Never understood how those things work. They stop the cows from passing across the road. Or any place that can't be fenced off, like our driveway. <laughs> They're just gutters made out of metal grates. Cows are afraid they'll fall through something with their depth perception. If they just took a few steps, they'd realize they could walk across no problem. They can go wherever they liked. Green pastures as far as they can see but they just keep being afraid. So they never go anywhere. Have any ever crossed? <laughs> Not yet. I am so proud of the man you've grown up to be. And I just want you to know that no matter where you go or whatever you end up doing, you will always have a place to come home to here. You take a look at those machines I told you about? What? The robotic milkers, no. Haven't had time. Pretty cool. They got these troughs inside with feed, and then the cows come over whenever they're hungry. Once they're inside, these mechanical arms hook up to them, identifies them, milks them, cleans them, and then you get this full report on your phone and if there's a problem, you can detect it right away. <clears throat> and how much do one of these cool pieces of equipment cost? 200,000, give or take. Give or take. Hmm. Each one milks like 50 cows a day. We wouldn't have to do it anymore. Only 50. Hmm. So we'd need quite a few. We'd probably get away with three. <laughs> It'd be worth it. We'd have five to six extra pounds of milk a day. I mean, you're talking a couple extra hundred thousand dollars a year if you're smart about it. How are you gonna come up with the money to pay for these new machines? You take a second mortgage out on the house. You pay back the investment in five years. After that, everything is profit. And you know this for a fact, hmm? Numbers seem good. We put out a million liters of milk last year. That not good enough for you? We're 9% under last year's output. It's gonna be even less with the cows not breeding the way they should. What's those damn bulls they keep sending us? It's because the cows were sick and we didn't know. The answer is no. And I don't wanna hear another word about it. I'm gonna start on the pulsators. You mind telling me what this is? It's a letter from the financial aid office at South Fulton. Did you apply to the school? After everything I've done for you, this is how you repay me? You go behind my back? Oh, George, get... Well, you got something to say to me? Go ahead. Hmm? Maybe you'd like to show me instead, huh? Stop it! See what you got, huh? George, stop! Huh? Come on, tough guy, huh? What's for lunch? Joey! Hey, stop ha! it! Get out! Stop! Get out! Hey, stop! Back up! Back up! Back up! Oh, my nose. Joey. Oh. Yeah. Joey. Um, so can we talk about your play? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've just been having some scheduling issues. 
Okay, mm -hmm. what does that mean? Well, it just means we have to push back your play a little. Push it back, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I literally, you know, came to New York so that I could do the play now. No, I know, and I'm sorry. We just, the board thinks that we need to shuffle our season around a little. Shuffle how? Well, I think it means you'll probably start rehearsals in January. And open in February. That's right. Yeah. What? That's good. You get more time to rehearse, to cast. Black like... History Month? What? Oh my god. It, it's not like that. Really? Who's um taking my slot? The board thinks that Martin's play Martin. would be... Sherry, listen. It's not like... I'm trying. It's... Where are you going? I'm going to my job, Dave, the job that I took so that I could do my play at your theater. Yeah, the sure. one thing has been pestering me hey. for forever. What are you? Sorry, I know <laughs> you're at work. Not pestering. I ran into Audrey and begging. she invited me. No, I'm joking, but I just, seriously. I got your email. I am just so, so proud You're really going to pull a plug like that? Work is just absolutely That's not what's beautiful. happening. Have, Come on. I wanted to do a photography. It's just... Um, exhibit this play, your play, it deserves I to be. I know what it deserves. I appreciate the opportunity. Okay, look, you want me to make you a few calls? No, please don't. <laughs> it's okay, you know, we're both just doing what we gotta do. Right? Yeah. Okay. And because they are multi-talented.